let's say if we have the differential equation f prime of x is equal to 3x and also we're given the initial condition that f of 0 is equal to 7. With this information find a particular solution to this differential equation. So how can we solve that differential equation? Well, let's begin by finding the antiderivative of both sides of that equation. So the antiderivative of f prime of x is equal to the antiderivative of 3x. So the integration of f prime of x is just going to be f of x. And the antiderivative of 3x is going to be 3x squared over 2 plus c. Now what we need to do is we need to solve for c anytime you want to find a particular solution of a certain differential equation. So what we're going to do is plug in the initial condition. f of 0 is 7. So 0 is the x value. 7 correlates to the y value or the function value. So we're going to replace the function with 7. So I'm going to write it like this first. f of 0 is equal to 3 times 0 squared over 2 plus c. Now we know that f of 0 is 7, so I can replace this with 7. So 7 is equal to 0 squared times 3 over 2 is 0, so 7 is equal to c. So now I can rewrite the function, replacing this with c. So I could say that f of x is equal to 3 over 2 x squared plus c, and this is the answer I'm looking for. So that is the particular solution to this differential equation. Now let's go ahead and work on another example. Let's say that f prime of x is equal to 6x squared minus 5. And we're given the initial condition that f of 1 is 4. Go ahead and solve that differential equation. So let's begin by finding the antiderivative of both sides of the function. So on the left side, it's just going to be f of x. On the right side, the antiderivative of x squared using the power rule, you need to add 1 to the exponent, 2 plus 1 is 3, and then divide by that number. And the antiderivative of 5 is simply 5x. And don't forget the constant c. So now let's replace x with 1. So f of 1 is going to be 6 divided by 3, which is 2, times 1 to the third, minus 5 times 1 plus c. Now, let's replace f of 1 with 4, because f of 1 is equal to 4. So we have 4 is equal to 2 minus 5 plus c. Two minus five is negative three. And to solve for c, we need to add three to both sides. And four plus three is seven. So c is equal to seven. So now that we have the value of c, we can write the final answer. So this is the goal. If you could solve for this, then you can get the answer based on this expression. You just need to replace c with seven. So f of x is going to be 6 divided by 2, which is, this is supposed to be a 3, by the way, 6 divided by 3, which is 2x cubed minus 5x plus 7. So this is the solution to the differential equation. Now, instead of being given the first derivative, sometimes we may receive the second derivative of the function. Let's say if the second derivative is 2x minus 3. This time, we need two initial conditions one for the first derivative and one for the original function. So if you want to try it, go ahead and determine a function for f of x. Solve this particular differential equation. So let's begin by integrating both sides of that equation. So the antiderivative of the second derivative, f double prime, is the first derivative f prime of x. And on the right side, 
the antiderivative of x is going to be x squared divided by 2. And for negative 3, it becomes negative 3x plus some constant c. Now, we need to use this particular initial condition to solve for c. So f prime of 1, that's going to be 2 over 2, which is 1, times x squared, so that's 1 squared, minus 3 times 1 plus c. And f prime of 1 is equal to 2. 1 squared is 1, 3 times 1 is 3, and so this is what we have. 1 minus 3 is negative 2, so I need to add 2 to both sides. 2 plus 2 is 4, so c is equal to 4. So now, we can write the general equation for f prime of x. So f prime of x is going to be 2 divided by 2 is 1, so that's just x squared minus 3x, and c is 4. So this is the first answer, but we need to go all the way to f of x. So now let's integrate both sides of that function. So we have the antiderivative of f prime of x, and that's going to equal the antiderivative of x squared minus 3x plus 4. So on the left, this becomes f of x. And on the right, we have x cubed divided by 3 minus 3x squared over 2 plus 4x. Now, instead of using c again, we're going to use a different constant of integration. So let's choose the next letter, d. Now, f of 0 is 3. So we have f of 0. And 0 to the third power is 0. 0 squared times 3 over 2, that's 0. And then 4 times 0 plus d. Now, f of 0 is 3, so d is equal to 3. So now we could write the final answer. And that is that f of x is equal to 1 third x cubed minus 3 over 2 x squared plus 4x, and then replace d with 3. So this is the solution to the differential equation. Let's try another example. So let's say that the second derivative is x squared minus 4. And f prime of 2 is 3. And f of 1 is negative 4. Go ahead and solve the differential equation. So let's start by integrating both sides. So on the left, the antiderivative of the second derivative is going to be the first derivative. On the right, the antiderivative of x squared is x cubed over 3. And for negative 4, it becomes negative 4x and plus c. Now we know that f prime of 2 is 3. So let's replace x with 2. So we have 2 to the third power minus 3, I mean divided by 3, minus 4 times 2 plus c. Now, f prime of 2 is 3, and 2 to the third power is 8, and 4 times 2 is 8. So now, let's add 8 to both sides. 3 plus 8 is 11, and so we have 11 is equal to 8 over 3 plus c. Now, to get rid of the fraction, I'm going to multiply everything by 3. And so 11 times 3 is 33. 8 over 3 times 3 is just 8. And then c times 3 is 3c. So now let's subtract both sides by 8. 33 minus 8 is 25. And then we need to divide by 3. So we have c is 25 over 3. So now we could write the final answer. f prime of x is equal to 1 third x cubed minus 4x plus 25 over 3. So if we plugged in 2, we should get 3. So now let's integrate this function.
So the integration of f prime is simply f. And the antiderivative of x cubed is going to be x to the fourth divided by 4. And for x, it's x squared over 2. And then for the constant 25 over 3, it's going to be 25x over 3 plus a new constant, d. So now, let's determine f of 1. So 1 to the 4th is just 1, and 3 times 4 is 12. And then 4 divided by 2 is 2, times 1 squared, which is 1. And then it's going to be 25 over 3, plus some constant, d. Now let's replace f of 1 with negative 4. So we have 1 over 12, minus 2, plus 25 over 3, plus d. Now, to get rid of all the fractions, I'm going to multiply everything by 12. I guess I don't need this information anymore. So negative 4 times 12, that's negative 48. 12 divided by 12 is 1. 2 times 12 is 24. 12 divided by 3 is 4 times 25. So that's going to be 100, and then plus 12d. Now, 100 minus 24 is 76, plus 1, that's going to be 77. So we have negative 48 is equal to 77 plus 12d. So negative 48 minus 77, that's negative 125. And then we need to divide both sides by 12. So d is negative 125 over 12. Now we can write the final answer. And that is that f of x is 1 over 12 x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 25x over 3 minus 125 over 12. And so this is the solution of the differential equation. It was a little bit longer than the other problems, but that's how you could find it. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.